Alright guys, so this is this quick little video on a cool project you can do with your kids or it's just a basically a proof of concept flight de demonstrator. Uh, you know, making Legos fly is something a lot of people wanted to do ever since they were kids. This is a way you can do it for less than a dollar. So what you're going to need to do is you're going to need a ruler. You're going to need a way to cut the foam with a razor knife. Very sharp. You should make sure it's very sharp because it'll make it a lot easier to get nice clean edges. And then you're going to need a piece of this foam board. This is a partial sheet, but it comes in a bigger sheet at the Dollar Tree or any kind of dollar store, or even at Walmart for around a dollar to three dollars. Walmart's more expensive. Uh, dollar Tree and stuff's usually a dollar. So after you have that, you're just going to go ahead and cut out any size wing. I mean, this one here is about three three and a quarter almost and then three and a quarter on that side too and then the back side is four and a half so if you want and that's all in inches so if you want to do something like that and just copy that and go from there i know for a fact that this one works pretty good so and don't don't do anything with your edges just leave them nice and square i tried it earlier tried to do my edges like this and a previously perfect flying wing just totally did not go good so but you can make them smaller if you put less weight than a minifigure it'll actually it'll still go you're just going to get less glide slope as you reduce the wing area down so the, this thing here if you take it up about a hundred feet it's going to go I mean anywhere between 200 to 300 plus feet depending on the wind and and the, the, the angle because the whole way that these wings work is the the wing itself needs to be perfectly balanced I'm talking front to back and side to side so you just have to find that perfect point right in the middle and that's gonna be your, your weight point so as you move weight to the back it's gonna cause the craft of porpoise up and down and then, as you move the weight to the front, the craft is actually gonna, going to glide faster and uh, penetrate the wind better with more airspeed. So, let's get this thing on a quadcopter and we'll see it gliding down. We'll see if I can chase it with the quad. We'll see how that'll work. Oh yeah, see, that's about perfect balance right there. You want a little bit on the forward side. Well, that right there is a nice flying glider and that's I mean, this is a good deal right here so if you have kids and they want to make legos fly for cheap just have them do this it's fun scientific engineer mathematics everything all in one it's simple fun if they break it they can build it again and that's just all the more fun and it keeps them entertained so there you go enjoy All right, so now that you've got your little guy cut out, now we're gonna do this to the next level. So hopefully you already have some sort of kind of quadcopter. This is one that I wrangled up out of the ones that I have here in the shop. And uh, basically we're running on a 3D printed propeller for this uh, rear right propeller is all 3D printed and even a different pitch than these. But surprisingly, it still flies just fine. So there's that, and then we have a 9 gram servo, which I have rigged into the into the uh, RC transmitter right there just by plugging it into the auxiliary channel port. And then I put a piece of wire here, and what this does is this is actually going to seat into that hole in the popsicle stick and create a release pin for this rubber band. So you can actually stretch the rubber band depending on the load. You can actually do it either around and to, or just right to there with the other rubber band so that works out really really well and it's easy to replace so basically we're going to strap this guy to the bottom of this and we're going to fly it so let's do it On runway 32 we'll see
Alright, so here's a quick summary video. So basically, this one didn't fly quite as good as this one before I went to cutting on it. So, I'm going to have to revisit this and see exactly what was causing it. It could have been something to do with that weight. Because, I mean, just half a millimeter either way will affect left or right turning. So, something to consider, something to play with either way. It's going to be great for your kids. Just throw it straight and level and... Uh, You'll be able to fly away. Hopefully not that bad. Fly away.